A gas pipeline rupture in Amarillo yesterday caused evacuations. Luckily, no one was injured around the 2500 block of South Polk Street, and gas was restored to residents later that day. Pro News 7's Janice Yu joins us with more information on gas pipelines. Janice? Lisa, yesterday's gas pipeline rupture is still under investigation. It has, however, shed some light on some piping basics. The change from steel gas line pipes to plastic happened over 10 years ago. But in Amarillo, there are still quite a few that have not been replaced. Uh, Amarillo is an old system. The infrastructure is old, and so that's why we're going back in there in that pipeline replacement program and replacing it with poly. The site of yesterday's rupture had gone through a replacement program. Steel pipes, plastic pipes. So what's the difference? Right here you have your uh, standard SDR-11 poly pipe, gas line piping, and this is a standard uh, black iron pipe nipple, um, which would be your gas line underground also. It's more durable and the lifespan is a lot longer than steel because with the steel line, you have natural corrosion. The, un the elements in the ground, moisture and everything else that comes around it will start corroding the pipe. Plastic pipes are only sold to plumbers, so homeowners can't install them on their own. They also need to be installed with a tracer wire. So that you can come back in the future and hook a monitor up to that and be able to find the piping. Lines that aren't marked properly can lead to ruptures and other complications. Atmos Energy and Scott Co. Plumbing both urge the importance of locating the pipelines before doing any yard work. This can be done by calling Texas 811. Lisa, back to you. Janice, thank you.